My name's Fade Maraki. I'm at SkinFX Tattoo Studio in Brighton and Hove, and today I'll be speaking with Taku Oshima in Japan. Taku has reborn an ancient tattoo style that originates from 14,000 years ago with the Jamon people from Japan, the original Aboriginal people of Japan who were fully tattooed, and Taku expresses this ancient art form through his contemporary tattooing. Thank you for coming to the show to discuss this era of tattoo history with me. Welcome to the show, Taku Oshima. Thank you very much. <laughs> I try to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> so today it would be great if you could tell us about the Jamon era in tattoo history. All right. Okay, so Jomon is the name of prehistoric era in Japan. It was like uh, 10,000 years ago from Hokkaido to Okinawa, all of Japan shared this culture. They didn't have a letter yet. So we cannot know about Jomon era by letter. Just a Chinese historian reported about third century Japan. He said that all of Japanese fishermen had bodysuits tattoo. Third century in Japan, we already had the agriculture and small kingdoms. And uh, fifth century, we had the first letter recorded by Japanese. They also reported about one guy had tattoo around his eye. It was like, uh, like my face tattoo, like around my eyes, right? It's the same. Wow. And then I think even agricultural people had bodysuit tattoo on everybody in the community. I feel like Jomo hunter gathering people should have more tattoos. And then instead of letter, we can find a lot of gray figure and pottery. They all have gorgeous design on them. We don't have chance to find tattooed mummy in Japanese climate, but uh, I'm tattooist, so I think design on those gray figure, maybe tattoo design. Especially of those designs as spiral and code pattern. I think they are symbolized snake. Snake was the god for Jomon people, not only Japan, but Asia. Even now, Asian believe dragon. Dragon is the ultimate form of the snake. I'm using those pattern in my Jomon tattoos, of course. Awesome. Wow, that's so interesting. And the Jamon people, were they known for a certain art and craft that has influenced your style? Because you said that there's some clay figures and pottery. Is this what yeah. you took influence from with your designs? Yeah. And what has the journey of tattooing been like, researching the ancient culture and rebirthing this tribal style with contemporary tools? Mm -hmm. I like uh, all of tribal tattoo design. And uh, it's my job also. And now I'm in Japan. That is why I make tattoo of Ainu and Okinawa and Jomon as professional neo tribal tattooists. Ainu and Okinawa had tattoo tradition just uh, until 100 years ago. There are many photos and journals by anthropologists. So I make them by traditional way too. I know tattoo by ink rubbing scarification with obsidian knife. Okinawa tattoo by hand poking with awamori mixed ink. I'm the first tattooist making Ainu and Okinawa tattoo complete form after 100 years silence in Japan. But as you know, I'm neo tribal tattooist, not really revival tattooist who is based on local culture of Ainu or Okinawa. So I'm making workshops to younger generation of those people with the right NPO system. I'm sharing knowledge and technique with them and hope everybody will go to deeper levels than myself. But uh, Jomon tattoo is a kind of hyper success challenging, maybe real and maybe just fantasy. There are no enough journals to make it as direct to revival tattoo. So I make it more free idea as my art. What is connecting to sense of modern clients? This is an important thing to do in a modern market. 
because people support it if it's cool. And if it's not cool, nobody care of it at all. I use the newest tattoo machine for Jomon tattoo mostly because my style is big body suits. I will cost very, it will be cost very expensive and spend very long time if I make it by hand poking. And uh, Jomon tattoo is getting more popular year by year in my studio. Hope other tattooists join Jomon tattoo too because Jomon period is not my own things, but for everybody. That's amazing. It's great that you wanted to share the style as well. Like you say, it's not just one Japanese tattoo artist. This is for, for many people, many people to appreciate. And I would yeah, love to I've... see your exhibitions when you displayed the humans on plinths in an art gallery to show, show all of the culture and the big body suits. I thought this was wonderful, really great work. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Can you please tell me about your inspirations for those exhibitions and will you be able to host any more? As you guys know, Japanese society is afraid of tattoo because of Yakuza story. I don't need to explain this in here. There are already many documentaries about it. One day, some years ago, Osaka State Police arrested on one young tattooist because he doesn't have doctor's license. Then he started fighting in the court. It took five years. It was nonsense. We need doctor license for tattooing. Of course, we tattooists won't finally. At least tattoo become not illegal now. We are making association of tattooists in Japan for negotiation with government to make new law about tattooing now. And uh, I had two times exhibition about the German tattoo and talk in TV and newspaper too. I wanted to beat them up in my artistic way. I want to make it more in Japan and overseas because uh, what I mean is that tattoo is very universal entertainment for human being for a very long time on this planet. Many people in modern society can enjoy tattoo without negative attitude. That's amazing. So you've been working really hard to research the anthropology and, you know, rebirth the Jamon style of tattooing, but also it sounds like you've had to work really hard with the government to be recognized as legally yeah. tattooing if it was made illegal. Was it only mm. two years ago it was legalized? Yeah, it's yeah. not actually legalized. Okay. It's not illegal now. Okay, it's just not because, illegal. Because we, we need a new law about uh, tattoo. Yeah. So now I'm making so society like, uh, yeah, like 300 tattooists join in this association and then try to negotiating with government. Yeah. Yeah. That's great that everyone's working together in this association. And it sounds like the tattooist who was arrested had to work hard for their freedom. I'm, I'm glad that they're setting an example and you're making the social change to be able to work freely with your cultural style. Yeah, I, I really wanted to do something for that. Yeah, I mean, only the, the style that people think is traditional Japanese tattooing, as you say, is only 200 years old. The big colourful body suits and the Yakuza story is very mm. modern, really. And, and what you're doing has a lot, a lot deeper roots. So I'd love to see some more of it. And um, what would be the most important traditions in Japanese tattoo history to document? And what do you think mm -hmm. makes these things unique to Japan? Mm -hmm. That's very, very difficult pro the subject for me because uh, there are so many different kind of uh, tattoo in Japan. So first, uh, wabori, which is Japanese traditional tattoo, is not ancient tribal tattoo. It started 200 years ago. It was one of the earliest tattoo in the world. And, uh, you can see many spiral crowd pattern and dragon, which is ultimate snake in those design also. This is an interesting point. It's an ancient tattoo connecting to the modern tattoo also. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, other things, Ainu, Ainu tattoo in Hokkaido Island is uh, made by ink rubbing scarification. And this method is probably the moment 
when tattoo was born from、uh, scarification, they kept it after getting metal needle. This is quite interesting point for me because、uh, how come how come I know people didn't select metal needle to make I know tattoo? You know,、yeah. interesting. And the last one, the Okinawa tattoo,、uh, we call it hajichi. They have a standard basic form, but there are many islands in Okinawa region, and all islands have their own version of hajichi.、Okay. Even each village has their own design. If you see how it changes place by place, it should be a really nice hint for thinking about the other tribal tattoo all around the world. I think. Yeah, this is a unique point. Yeah. Yeah, the connection with tattooing in Japan is very unique as well. Just having this wealth of history and you know the large suit tattoos, you don't even get that elsewhere. So it's really fascinating to see. And as you said, the tattooing tribes along the Pacific Rim are obviously very connected. So I would love、uh, yeah. to document this with you and go exploring and meet some historians and tattoo、mm. people. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much.、Um, well, I look forward to making a documentary with you and. Thank you so much for making the interview. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day.、Yeah.